Good morning, good morning, good morning, ladies. And I think there's a couple gentlemen here on um, in our group. Um, my name is Shannon Miller, and I'm actually the one and only solo admin. Sorry, I'm trying to do live, and I have no control over the dogs or the kids or the birds, so please bear with me. Um, and I, I wanted to offer you guys more value, so I figured I would come on here on a Sunday and see what kind of questions you had. I actually have seen a lot of posts about... Um, post-construction cleaning and move-out cleaning. So I think I'll actually just pick one of my more favorite topics and that's move-out cleanings. And I hope that my dog stays quiet. Um, and it's important that you guys are charging the right amount of money for your move-out cleanings. I, on average, get 31 cents a square foot. I have done over 4,600 move-out cleanings since the inception of my business began over a decade ago. Um, I'm including that experience from the company that I sold. And um, it's I, I want to make sure that you guys are going to get top dollar for your move-out cleaning. And there's a lot of questions about lists and what's included in a move-out cleaning. And I know that you guys have kind of heard me talk about it before. But um, I just wanted to kind of talk about it again because spring is right around the corner. VRBOs are going to be um, pumping back up. I know um, April, you had mentioned you had several of them. I'm already on the schedule, so that's super exciting. I'm glad the economy is going to take off because it was kind of scary last year. But um, it's really important to charge the right amount of money for a move-out cleaning. Move-out cleanings for me start at $397 and go up from there. And um, like I said, I, it ends up averaging out to be about 31 cents a square foot. Unless it's a larger home, then the price goes down significantly because it just the homeowner just won't pay. Um, rarely, once in a blue moon, you'll hit the lottery and the homeowner won't care and they'll just pay whatever it is because they just want it done. But more than likely, that price will be about 20 cents a square foot. So if you have something that's over 4,000 feet, um, 4,000 square feet, that's going to be about 20 cents a square foot. So um, some of the things that I've heard some chatter about for the move out cleanings would be like, um, you know, what's included. So for us, when we do the move out cleanings, that's where we come in and we vacuum out the insides of the cabinets. We'll actually wet wipe the insides and outsides of the cabinets. We'll get the doors, the door jams, the baseboards, the switch plates, the window seals. Um, there's always a stipulation with blinds. Some people will clean the binds, other people won't. We always have a clause in our contract that says, we are not responsible if your blinds were to break due to us handling them, the age and condition. So that way you're not liable and you don't have to pay to have them restrung or you know the homeowner doesn't try to nab you. So um, those are important key elements. We'll also catch up the bathrooms if they need it. If we have to put an acid down, we actually charge per bathroom to do that. And I charge $25 per bathroom. And the reason that I give is because I physically, because I live in Northern Arizona, that's why it's sunny here, it's gonna be about 70, and I physically have to go down to Phoenix to buy it by the gallon. I buy it in 10 gallon increments. It'll usually last me the whole summer, but I charge by the bathroom to put it on so that each gallon I'm purchasing of the tile cling, I'm making three or $400 off of. Also, um, What's included is we'll actually wipe off the counters, we'll mop the floors until they're clean, we'll edge and then vacuum the carpets. Um, we'll also wipe off the ceiling fans if they're accessible by a four foot ladder. Uh, you really want yourself or your crew going above a four foot ladder. There's more of a probability of a workman's comp ins insurance issue. So you wanna take steps that were going to protect your business because that's what this is all about. You wanna build your business and you wanna sell your business, hopefully, like I did. So it's an awesome thing. You, that's why you guys are all working so hard is because you wanna be able to sell your business. So um, we get all those areas there and then I actually have them sign a contract and I get a 50% deposit up front. And the reason for that is it secures their spot on the schedule and you're actually closing the deal when you get a 50% deposit. So important. Because what will happen is if you have a shopper is they'll call 15 cleaning companies and whoever has the cheapest price, they're not going to call you back and say, by the way, I canceled. They're just going to keep on moving. It's just like when we pick wine, right? We always pick the wine with the tree on it. I want the red wine with the tree on it. So make sure that you're closing the deal either by getting a credit card or you're getting a cash deposit or a check. Make sure that you are cashing that check right away. Do not sit on it because I've had that happen to me where I took a check and then we did the job and the check bounced, both checks. And it sucks having to chase money. 
as you know, you've probably heard me mention, I had sued seven clients last year and it's not because I enjoyed it, but because it was important to, to show them that they can't go around cheating service providers. That's ultimately why I did it. Um, I have yet to get paid from any of them, but I did sue them. So make sure that you're protecting yourself when you are doing the move out cleanings. Um, if you were to ever have any questions about a move in cleaning, um, feel free to press private message me or you can email me directly and that's Clean Freaks University. That's K-L-E-A-N. F-R-E-A-K-S university at gmail.com. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions or if you need help with pricing, I'll be more than happy to do that as well. Um, it's super duper important. You can see the sun is starting to crest in the sky. <laughs> I have like a, like a whitewash thing. But in any case, I just wanted to go over some of the do's and don'ts of move out cleaning. So 50% deposit, final billing um, on day of cleaning. I require that all clients do an actual walkthrough that way they can't nab you later and say, well, I'm not happy with the cleaning quality is always there. Um, and if, they, if the homeowner can't make it there, then they have to send a proxy. And if that proxy isn't good enough for them, then they have to say, I sent a proxy and um, that's going to have to be good enough because what will happen is they'll say, well, so-and-so didn't know what they were doing. It doesn't matter. You have to have a proxy to do a walkthrough on all of the move out cleaning. Super duper important. Um, and get that contract. Have a basic contract. If you need a basic contract, I think I have my old one around. Hit me up. I'll be more than happy to email it to you. It's um, pretty, I think it's like seven pages. I think my new contract is about 11. So um, those are the do's and don'ts of move out cleanings. I hope that this gives you some value. And um, I know we had a couple of new members this week. So welcome. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me up. You guys take care.